Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do Sagittarius 15th to 30th of April. Let's see what are the messages for you. So before starting, do subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Okay. And uh, for personal readings, you can uh, contact me on WhatsApp or Instagram me. All right. Details are given below. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. This is going to be a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Okay. So, Ten of Cups and Pink. Oh my God, you're going to get a marriage offer. Okay, someone is, uh, you've already met this person or this, is per this person has yet to come. Okay. But I do see like this is a very fulfilling, wish-fulfilling connection that's reaching out to you. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like this person will be so much full of love. They will have a very sweet, loving voice. And uh, they will shower you with a lot of love, a lot of care, a lot of um, respect. I feel this person is going to bring a lot of change in your life, a lot of happiness that's coming along. This person is asking you for marriage or will ask you for marriage. I feel like Sagittarius, you're a kind of a person who's very loyal. And you once you're loyal, you're ready to commit to that person for life. And you're a trustworthy person. So what you're seeking for is what you're getting. And I feel like this person is uh, going to offer you marriage. Or if you're a male here or masculine here, then you're going to offer them marriage. And I feel like uh, if you offer them a marriage, they're going to accept it and vice versa. And I feel like you guys will be opposites, you know. This person will be talkative, whereas you'll be very attracted to them. There's a lot of attraction. I feel you, your person will be extremely intelligent or you're already dealing with them. They're very intelligent, very sharp, uh, very straightforward, honest that you'd really like. I feel like they like to talk a lot and they're pretty honest with their words. Okay, they don't like to jumble their words and or manipulate them. So they're pretty clear. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> I feel like the mental compatibility between you guys is going to be awesome and you'll fall in love with this quality of this person, okay? So it requires a patience with them. I feel like right now you may have to have some sort of patience because you're going in a healing phase, you're in a healing phase, you're healing right now. Maybe from the past person, I see the past person reaching out to you, wanting to reach out to you, then you have two options. You're like, what should I do now? But uh, it's a clear message that past has to be released because this new person is awesome. You're going to be extremely happy and thankful that this new person came into your life and you left that per past person. I <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I feel the past person will be jealous of your happiness and that, that you found someone better than them. They will try to, you know... Um, break this connection break this bond somewhere this person will be extremely jealous they'll pick up fights with you and i feel like this person your past person will not be able to see you or release you not in a good way they're very obsessed okay someone who's mean at words okay you still miss the past person but they, they were very mean the way they spoke with you that was very violent or mean or aggressive so I feel like uh, you have options, Sagittarius. Once you look out, you know, uh, outside your past relationship, you'll see so many options being uh, interested in you, especially the way you handle your carry yourself, your personality. Everything is so cool about you. You don't realize this. Maybe some of you. But I see you're not talking to anyone. There are options and they want you to, um, you know, allow them to reach out to you, get to know you. But you're pretty fixated on uh, having negative thoughts in mind like when, when, when. You're not taking action. You're simply, you, you're just not, you're ignoring the fact that you have options and you're simply focused. You like the idea of uh, feeling like nothing is happening, nothing is happening. No, stop feeling like that. And I feel like if you look around, open your eyes, there's so many options interested in you. You just have to show that or reciprocate that interest to follow through okay so yeah you're growing you're getting better and i feel like your beauty is getting much better with time and i feel like you're in a um phase of manifesting you're ready to manifest whatever you want to 
I feel like with the red here, your attractiveness level is going to grow, okay? And I feel like uh, maybe you will reject. This past person is still stuck on your mind, okay? You're not able to uh, think past or think beyond this past person to see these options. You're completely saying no to these options, like uh, no thanks like that so i feel like the past person still in your mind and getting the most of you the best of you so i feel like you need to let it go because i do see so many options and such better options wishing for you wishing to be with you you know have a lifelong with you but i see this one option is definitely coming in your life who's going to be the wish fulfillment your opposite but there will be a lot of compatibility I see you need to look past through and uh, you may be rejecting some good offers coming your way. I'm telling you, Sagittarius, be careful about not doing that. I feel like the offer that's coming towards you strongly water or earth sign. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. All right. The Fool and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like Sagittarius, you're right now enjoying the freedom somewhere. You're like, thank God I'm released from that narcissistic past connection. I'm so relieved. But somewhere your emotions are still there. But you're taking that step. You're taking that risk, risk to leave that connection and move forward. And I feel like there's new life beyond this. There's newness here. And I feel like you're going to get a job or a very, very uh, high-level job, or you'll feel very independent about your own self. You, you start loving yourself. Money is going to flow in such nice way. Rainbow colors. You're going to dance like anything. You're going to feel like you freed yourself from something that was tying you so badly with. Okay, so I feel peace with the white here. I see peace in your life coming this is like a homecoming after a series of ups and downs with your person. Seven of Wands, I feel like you're right now focused on self, improving yourself. Your attraction level is so high and I feel like so many people interested in you. Your uh, attractiveness is going higher and higher. That's very good. I feel like you're taking care of yourself, your body, you're exercising and you're being more confident. And I feel like you're in love with yourself now and you're enjoying that freedom, that you know, self-awareness, you're more alert with self, you're more uh, concerned or you're more um, uh, in touch with what your body wants, what your heart wants, what your soul wants. So you're pretty focused on that. And I also feel like you're following your dreams, you're following your goals. And uh, six of swords, I feel that time is tough though. Challenges are there, but still you're going to pass through these challenging, challenging times with so much of confidence and oomph. Three of Pentacles, your work is going to be appreciated. The people, your colleagues are going to really appreciate and take your help at your workplace. So, yeah, you'll be very occupied. I feel star. Oh, my God. You'll be the star of the, uh, you know, of the month for April. So I feel like you're going to be appreciated for your work and you're going to be some social media star. For some of you, you're going to get into a partnership which is going to lead you to a new path, uh, abundance, happiness, so much of money and everything, fame, name, like that. So most of you are in uh, arts. So your uh, entertainment, arts and entertainment is going to shine through. Money is going to be great. It's going to be slow and gradual, okay? A lot of challenges are going to be there, but then it's okay. So, yeah, your relationship with your person was like you needed to release that person, okay? Unrequited love situation. I feel you're simply, it was a hard time for you to release your past, but you have to do this because this is not something that you're going to be in a long-term relationship with. So, do not expect reconciliation, Give your relationship a chance. I feel like your person from the past will try to reach out to you, ask for another chance. But however, if you see from a religious standpoint, okay, then there is a lot of difference between you guys, your background, your upbringing, your family doesn't approve of it, or there's an age difference, or one person is married, one person has kids. So something that doesn't uh, approve of this connection either, okay? 
so this is very you have to think not just uh, emotionally but practically also i feel like you're ready to release this person you may have blocked them or you've stopped communicating with this person altogether this is very good because i see with the two of cups you're going to spend good gala time with your friends also see a new person coming into your life and I, I see like the friendship with same sex is going to increase there will be a lot of chatting you may you make a new best friend <laughs> uh yeah that's what i see um there is someone who's going to be there uh, as your support system okay in the stuff time this person will really help you get out of the situation maybe someone who's your best friend or your lover who could be anything okay someone from the same uh, sex or could be someone who's feminine okay is gonna reach out to you really help you outgrow this connection and i feel there is going to be a strong bond happening with someone uh, a strong friendship or a friendship turning into a relationship could be anything but right now it see it looks like a, a friendship turning stronger and i see like your strength is gonna be back you'll feel strong you'll feel rejuvenated you'll feel like thank god i'm done with that mess and now you feel independent like a lion alone in a jungle <laughs> you know like a wild tiger like that so you feel extremely strong in your own company and you're ready to work for whoever you're working i do see some of you are interested in working for humanity it's going to give a huge fame recognition to you if you're doing that and i do see as i told you there's a lot of growth in your career okay so everything good is happening into your life so chill out and relax and stay safe do like subscribe share and hit the bell comment down below we'll see you next time bye